the limb a person needs to most purify is the tongue and that's a quote from Abdu Nayam and leads me into this week's game the purification and it's funny because you see the banner for this game and it's like wow this sounds like a really like um, potentially offensive game it's like talking about purification like oh man talks about like you know it brings up all these other themes and it's like oh then you play the game and it's like okay you're in the dark you see all these like loose structures everywhere and it's got a really good mood really creepy atmosphere to this game I love it some games they try and like scare you with blood or zombies but like this really sets a really good tone it's an early access game um, apparently, I didn't realize this playing it, uh, you're the last survivor in a dilapidated old German town. Like, how you would have figured this out playing this game? I don't think so. Um, so apparently you don't remember what happened to you, so you intend to find out. And, um, apparently later, I never found this from like the hour or so I played, you find out it's a big company, kind of like Umbrella corporation in Resident Evil that like is behind all this they're turning people into zombies but like you never get any of this backstory from the bit I've played and like there are zombies running around in the middle of the night now it's so dark in this game that like I find what happens is the zombies are like grunting near you and maybe they'll even attack you but most of the time like they just show up randomly beside you and like they're grunting and it's like, oh, I guess there's a zombie somewhere near me, like, <laughs> um, so yeah, they're, the zombies are actually really creepy when you can see them, when you're not surrounded by pitch darkness. Um, I think I had a lantern, and then later I found a flashlight, much, much later. Um, but they have, like, glowing green eyes and inhuman growls. There's a lot of exploration involved with this. Um, I feel like that's what takes up like most of your time with this game because it is early access as I said and it's not finished. Um, but yeah because it's there's a lot of exploration it's a pretty good game for Halloween and and for October. But there are cons like what I found the game seemed interesting and then I found the church and then it seemed even more interesting when you just you're like what the heck was that and I, the funny part is in the game it, the attitude was like what was that and I was like I didn't see anything I just heard something happen behind me inside the church and <laughs> so yeah I couldn't find anything more to do after I like I found the church where they you're supposed to find in this giant area and then I slaughtered like five zombies and like that's all I could find out uh, that you can do inside the alpha version of this game and like um, yeah, sometimes like the game in its current state does not recognize input. That's like a major criticism I had of this. Um, you know, I had to boot the game up twice and like it didn't recognize my keyboard. It didn't recognize my mouse. So like I couldn't even play the game. So I had to like shut it down just to hopefully get it working by running it again. Um, and then like I actually tried to jump inside a boat because like I was going around, I couldn't find any more zombies, I had no idea what to do after that. So I thought, hey, maybe I can try and like jump in the boat and row the boat. And instead I like jumped in the water by missing the boat and I drowned. So um, pretty much the game has put me back. Actually the game crashed there. I couldn't, it didn't accept my keyboard or mouse movements at that point. So I had to close it so I couldn't restart back where I was. I had to spend uh, like 30 minutes going back and I wasn't prepared to do that so yeah like it wouldn't let me go back to the main menu so I had to shut down that window which is like a pretty serious issue because like say that I was actually in the game much further in the game and like I couldn't save or do anything it's like oh you know you better hope there's autosave or something because otherwise you're gonna lose all your progress um, so I then went and chose the hospital level you can only access it right now it's supposed to be happening like later in the game somewhere and you can only access it from the main menu so I chose the hospital level which is actually really neat very different mood but still creepy 
Uh, you start inside a room and you figure out how to get outside of the room and then you start wandering hallways and it's more like the atmosphere again rather than like gore or zombies and yeah it's, it's definitely incomplete and I can see why they, they let you choose to access it if you want to see what could be happening next from the developer. Um, so I managed to restore the power into the hospital. Now the weird thing is as soon as I pulled up the lever to turn on the power in the hospital stage, there was a zombie just standing behind me. I'm like, well he wasn't there before so he must have like paranormal supernatural powers. Um, so since I had no way of fighting it, I don't know if there's a weapon in the stage, I never saw it in the hospital. It just pretty much followed me down the corridor and got me trapped in the room and I died. So after that I was like, okay, I think this playing session's done because I'm not going to start all over again. Um, apparently more content's planned, like the hospital level's going to be finished. Apparently you can maybe get infected in the hospital and there might be multiplayer, but that's not anywhere near done. It's only a $1.19 game, so I mean, I don't want to be too harsh on it. I think it's it's promising if it goes anywhere, um, but it's entertaining. I thought the mood was really good, just, and uh, I was more impressed when I found out, like, afterwards that one person designed this whole game. I don't know if they used, like, other assets, free assets to make this game. But the graphics are okay. I found like a lot of people were criticizing the graphics, but I mean, if if you don't have like a triple A budget or whatever, and it's the game's a buck, like I'm not sure what people are expecting here. But yeah, like it is dated, but they do the job, and the, the heart of the game is the sound and the mood, and it, this game does a great job doing that. Um, I would say. You know, if it can be polished, if it gets out of early access one day, and narrative, proper narrative occurs, this could be something special in the future. Right now, I'll give it 5 out of 10 because, you know, it's not really a game, it's more like a demo, like, this could get better, this has great mood, but, like, there's not a lot of structure behind it, like, in terms of, there's just random zombies everywhere, and, like, I, f I just got stuck, like, it didn't give me an idea, there's no map or anything. So it's not horrible, but like there's a lot of promise and potential. It's just it's got to go somewhere, and it's got to get more updates and uh, you know more publicity for the game. So I'd say like five out of ten is very fair because this is definitely like a bare bones demo, slightly polished for the first mission. But like if you want to have something that's creepy that I'll play for like half an hour or so, I'd say try it out and maybe wait. Um, if you like what you see of it, wait and see if they do add more to it eventually. But uh, right now, like, it's got a basic story, basic structure, but there's not a lot of game. It's just a lot of wandering in a giant area. And, like, uh, I don't think you can wander past a certain area. So there's, like, maybe a kilometer walking and a, a bunch of structures, but there's not a lot to do. So, yeah, it's, you could say that it's pretty purified by nature. So keep on gaming. Bye.